In the last lecture, we understood the basics of super node analysis, and now we are going to solve one problem using the super node analysis method. And via this problem, we will try to understand super node analysis in more detail. And according to the problem, we are required to find voltage V1 and voltage V2. And if you look at the given network, you will find there are one, two, and three sources present along with three resistors. And V1 is the voltage at this node, and V2 is the voltage at this node. And we are required to find value of V1 and the value of V2. So let's move on to the solution of this problem we know in step number one we identify the total number of nodes present in the network and in this network we have one two three and four nodes but the third node and the fourth node are the same because in this branch there is no element present and therefore the potential at the third node will be same as the potential at the fourth node and if you want you may connect this terminal of this resistor and this terminal of this resistor at the same point and this will be our third node so in total we have three nodes so number of nodes present in the above network is equal to 3. Now we will move on to step number 2 in which we will first select the reference node and then we will assign the voltages to the non-reference nodes and we select the bottom node that is our third node as the reference node and we have to assume 0 volt potential at the reference node therefore we have grounded the reference node. Now we are left with Two nodes which are the non-reference nodes and in the question voltage at non-reference nodes are already assigned this non-reference node is having the voltage v1 this non-reference node is having the voltage v2 so we are done with step number two now we will move on to step number three in which we will obtain the nodal equations for each non-reference node we will begin with node number one so at node number one we know in order to write down the nodal equation that is the kcl equation at the non-reference node we need to assume the node voltage to be the largest and therefore all the currents will leave the node like this therefore the sum of all the currents will be equal to zero this current will be equal to minus 2 amperes because here we have one current source present in this branch providing 2 amperes current and the same wire will not have the different currents therefore this current will be equal to 2 amperes but the direction of this current is opposite as compared to the direction of the current provided by the source therefore we will have negative sign so we have minus 2 plus this current is equal to v1 minus 0 divided by 2 following the ohms law then we will move on to this current now it is not possible to know the current through the voltage source in advance therefore we cannot have this current and hence we cannot write our kcl equation the same problem will occur at node number 2 at node number 2 we can have this current it is equal to 7 amperes we can have this current it is equal to v2 minus 0 divided by 4 but this current we cannot find because there is no way of knowing the current through a voltage source in advance 
So again, we cannot write our KCL equation. Now when you focus on the arrangement, you can notice that the problem is happening when the voltage source is present between two non-reference nodes. And therefore, to apply the nodal analysis, we need to make some changes. And the change we make is very simple. We simply assume this node, this node, the voltage source and any other branch in parallel with the voltage source that is this particular branch as a single node. So we combine node number one voltage source node number two and this resistance and then have a single node forming a super node. So we are having a node which we call as super node and in this particular network four branches are connected at our super node and to apply the KCL we will assume the voltage at the super node to be the largest. Now here you have to understand one very important point the super node will not have its own voltage it will not have its own voltage the voltage we will have at the super node is v1 and v2 for these two branches voltage at the super node will be v1 and for these two branches voltage at super node will be v2 and we will assume v1 and v2 to be the largest and therefore current will leave the super node in all the four branches. Now focus on the reason that why we can have a super node like this and for that I will assume current in this branch leaving this node equal to i and therefore current in the same branch leaving this node will be equal to minus i. Now this clearly means that the net current is equal to i plus minus i which is equal to zero and therefore the net current in this branch is equal to zero when we combine the two nodes and the same thing will happen in this particular branch as well. Therefore overall two currents are leaving this node and two currents are leaving this node and therefore we can combine whole thing as a super node and now we will apply KCL at our super node sum of this 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 and this current will be equal to zero this current is equal to minus 2 amperes so we will write minus 2 plus this current is equal to v1 minus 0 divided by 2 so simply v1 by 2 plus this current is equal to v2 minus 0 divided by 4 so v2 by 4 plus this current is equal to 7 amperes and the sum will be equal to 0 according to KCL now when you simplify this you will have 2 times v1 plus v2 equal to minus 20 this is equation number 1 now when you perform the super node analysis to have the node voltages only KCL will not help you KCL will give you one equation and the other equation you will have by using KVL so in super node analysis there is application of both KCL and KVL. So let us apply KVL starting from this node and ending at this node. So we have V1 plus 2 equal to V2. V1 plus 2 equal to V2 and from here we can say that V1 minus V2 is equal to minus 2. This is equation number 2. So we have two variables V1 and V2 and we have two equations. Now when we add equation 1 and equation 2 we have 3 times V1 equal to minus 22 or we can say V1 is equal to minus 22 divided by 3 volts as the voltage at node number 1 which is V1. 
now we will put v1 in equation number 2 and from there we will have v2 equal to minus 22 divided by 3 plus 2 when you solve this you will have v2 equal to minus 16 divided by 3 volts so now we have our answer we have obtained voltages v1 and v2 using the super node analysis so i hope you now understand super node analysis clearly and now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one